Community service has many connotations, but in Navajo culture, it is an obligation to always be of service to your elders. In this case, it is for my grandmother. I spend my school breaks taking care of her. I built her fires to keep her warm during the winter time. Early in the morning, I chop woods as the cries of the coyotes echo in the distance. My grandmother, like many others, are home alone and face health issues like diabetes. She has no access to running water, but we have to haul the water for her. Simple necessities Americans enjoy, like electricity, automatic heaters, and running water. These are not provided in the rural areas where I'm from. During my school break, I make sure our livestock have water, food, and are taken care of. Sheep are a part of Novo livelihood. Through generations from my grandfather, my parents, and now to me, this cultural practice teaches me responsibility. One way we gave back to our community, along with my colleagues, Kier Brother, William John, and I, is using film to educate the Navajo people. We took a journey to understand why water is important, not just to us, but future generations. Using film as our lens of life, we learned about our water resources, how important our water rights is, and how it enables us to use our sacred resource. We learned how the proposed SB 2109 informed us how the Navajo and Hopi people didn't know how to utilize our water resources. Many people, including elders, protested because they thought about how it would affect the future generations. The bill did not pass because the voice of the elders rose up and were heard. Now we know the bill was not passed, but it will be back. Through filmmaking, we felt it was a service to our communities to teach them about this issue and how we're capable of defending our water. After making this film, it opened my eyes to what I was capable of doing as a young Navajo individual. For a Navajo youth, it is an obligation to my grandmother, elders of my communities, and younger generations that we know water is a precious resource we want to understand how to utilize, not only to exist, but to become part of us spiritually. I am not only speaking on my behalf, but for my ancestors and future generations to come. This is my way of giving back to the Navajo people.